Adrian, what are you doing here? I told you I want nothing to do with you. Making me feel better isn't part of your job. I just want to do us both a favor and stick to what you're told. Claire. Oh, oh, oh. If you're gonna be my wife, I'm gonna need you to keep up with me. And that's never gonna happen if you keep eating the way you do. I'm just here to support you and help you feel better. Hey, come on, hurry up. Up, down, up, down. We gotta get ready for the marathon, remember? I don't think I can do this. You know I don't work out like this. I, I can barely finish the set. What, what would you expect would happen? You do everything except train. Look, if you're gonna be my wife, I'm gonna need you to keep up with me. And that's never gonna happen if you keep eating the way you do. You know I can't meal prep right. I'm too busy trying to help my parents pay the bills. Well, you know what? No, I think it's time you started taking care of yourself. Your parents are not going to be able to depend on you forever, you know. But, babe... There's, there's no but about it, okay? Look, ever since you started working with that guy in the wheelchair, you've completely lost sight of everything that matters. I only work out for you, to keep you happy. You know I'm not a fan of this. Look, I need my wife to be as dedicated to this as I am. Make sure you finish your sets by the time I finish this lap. Hurry up, get moving. Hey there. Hey Claire, welcome. So how was your day off? It was all right. And what about you, Mr. James? Did you miss me? Why do you care? It's not like I can do much in this chair anyways. Please excuse him, Claire. You know how he can be sometimes. Yeah, well, you'll learn to appreciate life at some point, you know? Okay, why don't you two cut the small talk and just pretend I'm not here? I wonder if there will ever be a time when you wake up not in a grumpy mood. Maybe we don't have to wake up anymore. Okay. Oh, uh, well, why don't you close your eyes? We got a surprise for you. What now? Just trust us. Close your eyes. You'll find out soon enough. Come on, sweetheart. Give it a try. Why are we in here? Surprise! This is your new room. I mean, your mom put a lot of effort into making it. Look, the view. Well, I don't like it. We wanted you to wake up to a beautiful view every day. What am I supposed to do in a huge room like this? I can't even move around on my own. I don't like it. Take me to the other room. I know this isn't what you were hoping for. But this is going to be your new room, whether you like it or not. Here, let me help you with this. Ah, forget it. I could do it. Just because my legs don't work, doesn't mean my arms don't. Why are you always so happy all the damn time? Just because you don't find joy in life doesn't mean I can. You have a loving mother, a beautiful house, an incredible view. You just find the little negative things. You don't understand what it's like not to be able to walk. You're right. I don't understand. But it's not my fault you're here. I'm just here to support you and help you feel better. Making me feel better isn't part of your job. I just want to do us both a favor and stick to what you're told. It's you again? Why don't you just go home? I don't have time to deal with you today. I have something for you. Can't be serious. Happy birthday, Jimmy! Don't ever call me Jimmy. Okay, my name is James. All right, can't you see I'm stuck in here? And besides, you're probably only doing all this because you feel bad for me, and I don't need your pity. 
Being alive is enough to celebrate. You think this job is easy for me? It comes with its challenges. But I, I still appreciate the job. Claire. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I'm sorry. I should be the one apologizing. Yeah, you're quite good looking when you're not complaining. I'm sorry. No, oh my god. I'm the one who kissed you. I have to go. Claire. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hey, what's wrong? I care, so of course I'm gonna worry. Hey, I got you something. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Open it. Oh my god, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, I do pay attention, even though sometimes it seems like I don't. James, these are amazing. What? <sighs> oh, oh my god, sorry. I, I get worked up. Oh, it's okay. It's uh, actually kind of cute. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Sure. Would you ever consider being with someone like me, you know? Someone as stubborn as you? No, someone in my condition. Well, um, honestly, when I first met you and you had no interest in life, I didn't think about being friends with you. But now I get it. You're not as bad as I thought you were. It's just you lost something that you were really happy about. How come you haven't asked what happened to me? Well, I, I didn't want to invade your privacy and make you uncomfortable. To me, what truly matters is the person you are in the present. How do you stay so positive? Well, life has its ups and downs, but you've learned to appreciate the little things. It's all about finding the happiness and the small little things that happen. <laughs> Thanks for always being there for me. You don't need to thank me. I genuinely care about you. Well, how about you stick around for a little longer? Fever. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Here. Mm. Should help. Thank you for always taking care of me. Well, well, Claire, I guess you decided to spend all your time with him. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Hey, you stay out of this. It's none of your business. Adrian, what are you doing here? I told you I want nothing to do with you. You know what, Claire? I never expected you to end up with someone like this. Adrian! Watch your step, buddy. Are you okay? No, stop. Just stop. 
You could have had a much better life with me, Claire. Enjoy that. Just leave me. Don't listen to him. No, he's right! You deserve a better life. Someone who can actually do things with you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Adrian was wrong about us. I'm lucky to have you. guys, thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch us on the next one.